Padres pregame thoughts, Padres and the Giants. Obviously, these two teams played when the Padres had their home opener, their first series at home of the year. Padres, they end up splitting that series two games to two, and then they lose the Cardinals series. And so now they enter their first real like road trip of or not a road trip, it's a road series. It's not like they're even doing multiple series on the road. They're going to San Francisco and then they're gonna come back home. So it's an interest and, and especially like usually first game on a road trip, there's a night game where here in San Francisco, this first game is a day game because it's their home opener. So that's a little bit weird there. The Padres, they didn't leave for San Francisco right after the series finale against the Cardinals. Instead, they had a day off and they didn't leave until I think like six o'clock yesterday to go to San Francisco. So interesting timing there. But they got to enjoy another day in San Diego. So I'm sure that they were happy about that. Um, as for this game, Jordan Hicks on the mound for the Giants and then Dylan Cease on the mound for the Padres. So this is the same pitching matchup that we saw on, yeah, that Saturday, that Saturday game. And so with Dylan Cease, he, my underdog fantasy pick is around him. And I'm going to go higher on 16 and a half pitching out. So. Do I think he is going to go five and two thirds innings at least? And my answer to that is yes. I think he can bounce back. You've got the big pitcher friendly yard there in San Francisco. It's his second time seeing this Giants team, and he can adjust to that and get a little bit more comfortable here pitching for the Padres. So I like that. I'm also going Juan Soto lower half first inning hits. I know he's on the Yankees, but I saw that one. Their game's just about starting right now as I'm recording this. So I have that as well. Um, but Underdog Fantasy, click that link in the description. Code Talking Friars, 100% deposit match up to $100. Um, so, yeah, check it out. There's obviously the Final Four, Women's Final Four tonight with South Carolina, NC State, Iowa, and UConn. So, that is going to be really fun. And then there's obviously the Final Four on the men's side over the weekend and then the national championship games Sunday and Monday. So there's my point to that is there's a lot of selections, a lot of options there on underdog fantasy. As for today's lineup, Xander Bogarts leading off Tatis, Cronoworth, Manny, Kim, Profar, Camposano, and then the two question marks. Well, I think we knew Merrill was going to be back in the lineup, but was Grand Pauly going to be starting at third base? And he is, he is batting eighth. He is starting at third. So I like this lineup. I think this should be the lineup, you know, unless they go acquire Tommy Pham or, you know, at a bat. This should be the lineup most days. I get that Tyler Wade is playing well, so it's not going to be the lineup most days until Tyler Wade goes back to being Tyler Wade. And I'm talking about being Tyler Wade offensively when you look at his career. He's not a 400 on base percentage guy, his career. You know, you look at his OPS plus, it's like over 30% below league average. Um, so at some point, I just don't think that this is going to continue. And I think Graham Pauly should get the bulk of the playing time. And if Eggy Rosario is in there against a lefty, okay. Um, but I, I'd still, same thing with Merrill. Like I want to see these guys challenged. I want these guys to be facing left-handed pitchers so that we can see who they can be against those guys. You got to give them that opportunity at the big league level or else how are they ever going to succeed against left-handed pitching when they haven't seen it at the big league level. It's one thing to see it in the minor leagues. It's another to see it in the big league. So like give them that opportunity. Um, bullpen, obviously it's fresh, got the day off yesterday. And then there's guys like Matsui and De Los Santos and Kolek, Burrito, Avila that have gotten a couple days, at least a couple days off. Um, Matsui has not pitched since the second. De Los Santos hasn't pitched since April 1st. Same thing with Kolek and Brito. Avila hasn't pitched since the second. So we're good there. Wandy, maybe they'll go back to him with the day off, but he pitched back-to-back -back days on the second and the third. So if the Padres are in a high-leverage spot, let's say Cease can go six innings today. I hope that's what he can do. And seven, eight, nine, maybe they go Cosgrove uh, after the day off yesterday. They go Cosgrove, Matsui Suarez you know, in some order like that. So that's what I'm looking at today. That's what I'm thinking Schilt might go to, but I'm still trying to figure out like a lot of fans, what this bullpen is going to be like 
when those high leverage situations come. Like, who is Mike Schilt going to trust? It's game, what, 10 of the year that we're going into today. So it's going to take some time for, I think, Schilt, Niebla, Ben Fritz, front office to really, like, decide, okay, which guys can we trust? And I'm sure they would say even once they figure that out, it's still going to change based on who's pitching well, who's on the roster, et cetera, right? So, yeah, there's my pregame thoughts. Giants lineup, if you want it, here it is. Jung Hoo Lee, uh, then Wade, Soler, Conforto, Chapman, Estrada, Yastrzemski, Bailey, and then Ahmed. A lot of the same guys that we saw, I believe, in that Saturday game as well. Um, again, same pitching matchup, Hicks against Cease. What are the Padres going to do against Hicks? I mean, Hicks didn't give up any earned runs in that start. I, I was not expecting him to be as impressive as he was against the Padres. Sinker, slider, splitter, we know we're going to get that from Jordan Hicks, at least if that's if he's going to still approach the Padres like he did in that first start. Now, things could change, obviously. Maybe he wants to change it up and go more fastball, but that's what he's going to do. That At least based on that, that's how he's going to attack this team. So it's going to be tough. He looked pretty nasty, but hopefully the Padres, they are going to be going into this being a little bit more comfortable against Hicks. I feel like maybe they didn't know totally what to expect going into that first outing. 